So in this video, we're going to focus on the pitch envelope, which is located within the pitch oscillator tab. Now we have these parameters here that relate to the pitch envelope, but we also have some extra parameters here, five little sliders and also a selection box here. And these are more like global parameters. So we'll cover these as well. Okay, so the pitch envelope allows us to modulate the pitch of the sample and the modulation oscillator if it's switched on. And it does that over time using this envelope. So I've just got a basic sample loaded in here. And what I might actually just do is just loop it so we have more of a continuous note. Let's just zoom in a bit. Let's crossfade. So you can hear we've got more of a kind of consistent sound to work with. So let's come back to the pitch oscillator tab here. Now you can see the envelope here is the same as the other envelopes we've looked at. So we've got the attack time here, we've got the initial level, decay time, sustain level, and then our release time, and also our end level as well. So we can use this to create, say, kind of snaps, percussive transients at the beginning of samples. But this will only work if we use the amount slider or we turn the amount slider up. Or down. So we can do this in semitones. So you can really hear that percussive snap. So that's without it. Now we had the sustain not on zero, so you can hear actually the pitch was different. The kind of resting pitch was different, but now we put that under zero. We've got the same pitch. We've just got that snap at the beginning of it. So you can set that up to create the right kind of contour you want. You could have more of a kind of increasing pitch like so. And we can also loop this envelope in the same way as we looked at before. You can experiment with that as well. Let's just change the time parameter here. So we can really create some interesting effects there. We can also link the time value to velocity as well. So we play hard, play fast soft and you can hear it's much slower so that can allow you to create some variation within the sound as well and you can tie that into velocity okay let's switch off the pitch envelope here and let's have a look at these global parameters that we have located in the bottom right hand corner so when we use spread there's going to be two detuned voices that are generated per note so you can clearly hear that nice stereo spread that's being introduced we can transpose globally we can detune globally. So again, if we're playing back to a sample, or playing back to a track, which was for some reason not in tune, we could detune the sample. Or if the sample itself is out of tune, you could use that to bring it up or down into the pitch of the track. Now, the zone shift is quite interesting. This allows you to choose different samples for playback, even though they're going to remain at the right pitch. So if you had a big multi-sample, it would mean that you would actually choose a different note to play back at the pitch. So the sampler would then have to transpose the sample up or down to be the actual note of the MIDI note that you're playing. So that means you might get, say, a sample which is tied at the original pitch to a higher note playing lower. So you're going to get that kind of gritty lo-fi effect from playing something pitched down, or it might get the opposite. So it could be quite good to play around with to get some variation in your multi-samples. Then we have Glide here, as we're probably all familiar with, Portamento and Glide. So Glide is a traditional monophonic glide, whereas Portamento will work polyphonically. Now, if we choose the Glide mode here, you see we now we have a time parameter, and we can use that. Let's choose the time over which the glide is going to take place. Uh, 
as you can hear there. And that is the pitch envelope and these global parameters down here, and that is the pitch oscillator covered. And the next video, we're going to have a look at the filter global section. But just to recap, we now know we have a pitch envelope, which allows us to modulate the pitch of both the sample and the modulation oscillator. It's enabled. The amount is determined by this amount slider and that's in semitones. We then have the usual controls for the envelopes we've seen. Tactic K sustain release. We have an initial, an end, and I should say we have a peak as well. Let's switch that on. So the peak allows you to set that kind of end of the attack phase essentially. So where's it going to reach? So using the initial and the peak, we can set how that attack is going to take place. And then we can loop that as well, as we've seen. And then we have a global section here with stereo spread global transposition detune. We can zone shift so we could play back a different sample on that pitch, which means you'd have to pitch shift within, or the sampler would have to pitch shift to allow you to play back a different sample at the correct pitch, which can give you some kind of tonal shifts and some different kind of artifacts that are generated. Glide, which can be a portamento, which is polyphonic, or glide, which is monophonic. Okay, so now we've covered pitch oscillator tab. In the next video, we're going to have a look at filter global. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.